Okay, so this is kind of a uh, follow-up video um, for one we did about a month ago and uh, three months ago. So uh, you have your uh, brescia here, you got uh, shale, you got some quartz veins, everything's highly oxidized. Um, you can see your quartz there, calcite. Um, so what we found here is we found very decent free gold. Um, there's a couple sections of this uh, 75 meter wide zone of mineralization where uh, we found really good gold. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take some um, of this material uh, where we found the best grade um, free gold and we're going to take it and crush it and we'll pan it back in the shop and see what we can get out of it. we're sampling, uh, we want to take the GPS location. You sample from one part of the vein to the other. Um, that way you get the whole idea of what's inside the vein as well as uh, uh, where your host rock is. So um, for today, we're not going to take any GPS coordinates. We're not going to write anything down because we know where this is and we've already sampled this. Uh, we'll just take our bucket and uh, fill her up and we'll see how much gold we get in and we'll uh, um, even it out and uh, see how much we uh, can get per ton if uh, we were to take this stuff out. So this area here we can see it's, uh, it's very brittle, it's almost sandy, um, uh, deteriorating quartz vein, it's very oxidized and uh, this is where we found the, uh, the best golds and we found some nuggets even. So. We'll take a bunch from here, and then we'll take a bunch of other uh, samples of rock as well, and uh, see what we get of it. Okay, so if you take a look here, um, in the quartz vein, we just pulled out this sample. Uh, this has calcopyrite in it, so uh, we know we uh, have a nice vein here with mineralization, and uh, maybe that's uh, where your gold's coming from out of the calcopyrite, so... Uh, we're going to keep sampling, and uh, then we'll head back to the shop and uh, see what we get. So we're just uh, getting some grab samples here too from uh, all this rock that's fallen off the outcrop. And uh, we're going to take some of these as well and uh, maybe send in an ICP analysis, fire, a, fire for a uh, AU and see what we get out of these. There's some really nicely oxidized uh, that have some sulfide staining on it, so um, maybe we'll pull in a few samples. And uh, there's another nice looking vein right here. We'll sample this from uh, your host rock all the way to your contact zone and uh, send that in. We'll post the assay results at the end of the video. And uh, We'll also post uh, some nice uh, pictures of samples. Okay, so we have about uh, 50 pounds of material in our five gallon bucket. Um, we took, took a bit off here as well. Uh, you can see this is heavily oxidized. Um, that's from your oxides. You can see the, uh, the yellowish kind of staining is from your, your sulfides. You can see up here all this is quartz and uh, you can see all the uh, the the buggy patches in there um, what happens is you got your your pyrites which uh, oxidize out leaving big voids like that so we're gonna take some of the samples from up here um, as well because we never saw that before and we're gonna say that and um, then we'll head back to the shop and do our panning and um, test the material and see what kind of gold we can get out of this uh, this layer here. Okay, so uh, we've on our way back we found uh, this area which is in the vicinity of the claim. Um, host rock in the area is similar, so um, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, some sediment samples here. You can see the the heavily oxidized uh, dirt and gravels um, just leaching out of the ground. So we're gonna see if we can find some bedrock, dig down, um, and uh, maybe do some testing and see what we can get out of this. Um, send something into the lab for sure. So, well, yeah, we'll definitely take some sediment samples. You can see uh, how oxidized the rock is. So we'll see how uh, deep bedrock is. Maybe uh, dig a couple test pits by hand here, see if we can find it, and then uh, sample. So this is also in the vicinity. Um, you can see you got your overburden on top and uh, you got a layer of gravels, uh, thicker gravels and then uh, it gets a little finer. You got a clay layer and uh, on top of that you have a rusty layer of, of rock. It's pretty heavily oxidized so we'll take a sample from this, uh, this area as well. See if we can get anything out of it, see if uh, there's anything in it. You have more uh, oxidization here, very, very rusty. And then you have a nice clay layer and uh, some gravels amongst that and uh, sand below that. Okay, so here's uh, the result of panning everything out down to kind of concentrates. Um, you can see there's a lot of sulfides in here. We're thinking that there's some platinum and palladium in here as well um, and some free gold free gold is kind of staying trapped with the platinum so uh, we're going to separate that a different way and uh, we think that there's probably going to be eh, there could be up to half a gram but uh, we're not sure yet so we'll send send this in probably and uh, see if we can uh, process this a different way and uh, for now, we'll just take a look at the nuggets and uh, the little pickers. And this is all from a uh, five-gallon bucket, 25 kilograms of material. And uh, we'll calculate it at the end of the video and show how much we got. Okay, so here's uh, the nuggets and pickers that we pulled out of there. This is before we... Um, crushed the material. Uh, we crushed it down to about 100 to 120 mesh, and uh, this is the uh, the before result and the after will be fine gold, which we're uh, processing a different way because we're having trouble uh, getting it out. It's kind of coming out as a concentrate of platinum, palladium, and um, and free gold, and it's uh, we're gonna have to process that a different way. Um, Probably about uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a gram, and uh, we'll see when we get the results back from testing. We'll post them at the end of this video.